Hey guys, welcome back to Playing in Space with Planet Head. Uh, Merry Christmas for all those guys that celebrate it <laughs> in the day off and everything. Uh, on Discord I said Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Uh, I know some other people celebrate this time of the year at a different date, so looking forward to that for you. And um, any other holidays, blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> Had most of the day off today um, and played a little did a good deal of Eve and Long Dark and slow cooked some ribs in the uh, oven and relaxed. <laughs> um, so uh, what I thought today was, um, if you remember a couple episodes ago, I had been waiting on the special deal where you get the multi-character training. Um, if you've watched my videos for a long time or uh, looked back at some of the older ones, I have another character. Or if you see the boot-up screen, I have my other main character is Amanda Rose Pilgrim. Um, I have actually used her much over the last three months while I was getting William Pilgrim up and running. She's my character out in Stain, uh, where I did... Um, I created her back in May of last year, and I did um, basically... A series where I uh, was out in stain as an a uh, Omega character, I'm sorry, an Alpha character, and then after a while, I then uh, decided to go create an Omega character with the multi-character training. Um, but when that was up, the three months of that was up, I accidentally started up a new subscription, so um, I didn't want to lose. It. So I, I put her on hold for a little while. I played her every once in a while um, while she was in training, but now that I got the uh, the bonus deal, it, it's still going on right now if you want to try it out, but I'm actually going to show you guys how that works if you've never done the multi-character training. It's pretty simple stuff. Um, and then um, I'm going to actually... I, I She is still out in stain. Um, I haven't used her in quite a while, so it's kind of neat to look and see what's there. My current goal is to check out what she has and then actually get her back out to either um Aridia <clears throat> or over into the Great Wildlands and Curse um to help out with William Pilgrim and getting things set up out there. But to do that I've gotta get back home and Stain can be a pretty crazy spot, so I'm actually gonna try to get there through wormholes. If I I'm pretty sure this Imicus that I found um, is set up to be able to go scan down some wormholes, so we're going to see if I could do that. Um, I don't think I even have a cloak out here for this ship, so it might be a little bit fun there to go back that way. Um, it'll be interesting once I get home to figure out what I have to do and what I don't. So, uh, basically two things. Well, three things. One, I'll show you how to do the multi-character training uh, thing. It's been a little while. It's about three months since I've actually done one. Um, second part is we'll do a brief overlook to see what I've got out here that I can use. And then thirdly, we'll just jump out in the wormholes and see what we can find. So, uh, no further ado, notice up here I've got my training paused. Um, and whenever you do purchase the multi-character training, I purchased three months worth. Um, I don't go much farther in advance of that. Um, so, uh... You go into your unclaimed things, and you'll, you're going to notice... Well, I'm not going to scroll up here. I have a bunch of stuff that I haven't redeemed. All the air stuff that I really don't use much of. Um, but you have three separate months here, which is kind of nice. Um, because you don't have to use them right away. And they don't expire, from what I can tell. So you can throw one in for a month. And then, let's say you have to go on vacation or something like that. You can wait a little while throw it into another one. Or, um, if you want to use, like I, if I have a third character on this account, but I don't really use them at all. But I could actually do three characters training at once if I really wanted to. Which is kind of cool. So, let's go ahead and try this. It's been a little bit since I've done it. Um, let's see here. So, I'm going to redeem this in the current station. So, let's see that. The following items will be redeemed, activated, and applied to Amanda Rose Pilgrim Multipilot Training. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. So, um, 
Activate 30 days. Additional training queue. Wait. Select queue to activate. Activate 30 days is additional training queue. Um, so it's allowing me to activate that. And confirm it. Oh, you know what this is? Oh, I'm going to hover over this. So when you hover over this, consuming the multi-pilot training certificate is activated to activate an additional character training queue, which will expire on January 25th. This is really important. Um, if I remember correctly, I don't think you can stack these. I think I try, like I can't put one in and then the next one and the next one, have it automatically do it. You might be able to, there might be a way to do it. I think I screwed it up last time and I put one in too early and I lost about five days. So you want to be careful with that. If you do try this out, make sure you read the things. I'm perfectly fine here. This will go to January 25th. I'm going to go ahead and activate that and confirm. Alrighty, and it starts a timer countdown. That's pretty cool. Okay. Like I said, it's been a little while. So up here, remember to get things up and running. Oh, I have no skills in training. Oh, <laughs> well, I better get that up and running. Um, oh, I just have to start this. So I have these going right now. Let's go ahead and hit play. Okay, I am I am training. Um, I'm not going to bore you with going through the skills that I have in here right now. It's been a long while since I looked at her. She is almost completely focused on a Mar training. And I had gotten her up to, looks like, Battle Cruiser. So that might be kind of interesting if I take her out to the Great Wildlands. I might, because um, William Pilgrim is not trained in Battle Cruiser. Um, I'm wondering if I'm Battleship. No, I don't have Battleship for her. Okay. So the second thing that I want to do, and I was just, I thought about this really briefly before um, I left, was. Uh, the station that I'm in, um, in Stain, I want to have the ability to get back to it. Um, so there is no clone station in this station. But what I can do, if I'm not already set up this way, is set this as my home station. So if I ever self-destruct a character, I will come back to the station. That is one really nice thing. So let's just make sure that this is designated as my home station. I'm assuming it would be. Um... So, current home station, KP Tech FQ1, yes. Okay, so that's very important. So now I don't have to fly out here or find some way to get here to figure out, get all my stuff. I know I've got a good amount of stuff out here. I did a lot of blowing stuff up out here and making ships. Um, just by the, I remember I tried out the um, Coercer out here. Oh, I've got, still got stuff in this. Uh, let me kiss. Um, do, 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 do. Where's my item bay? Item hanger, there you are. Um, yeah, I got a decent... Oh, I forgot I flew a Harbinger out here, too. Interesting. I had a Harbinger, a Mauler, an Omen. Nice. In the Coercer that I had. Nice. Okay, that's kind of memory lane. Maybe I'll go back and watch some videos. <laughs> um... Uh, one one fellow just commented today on one of the first videos I ever did. It might be the one that had like the most hits f for the longest time. Um, it was one of the first videos he he said he I did a five minute video on it was going to be a series. I think I made somewhat of a series of living in low sick originally on how to kill things out there. Um, it was when I was first making the videos. Kind of, and I wanted to limit those videos to five minutes. Then I became, found out it was almost impossible with as much as I like to talk. <laughs> so, um, really, kind of took me back there. So, uh, if you're watching this today, thanks so much for watching. Whatever. Um, but uh, I apologize if uh, you were looking for something really specific. I like to talk a lot. Okay, so we've got um, the Imicus here. Let's see what our fit is, because I'm sure it's not anything super special. Okay, we got our probe launcher. I don't even have any any rigs on this puppy. Um, looks like she's travel fit. She's got some inertial stabilizers and some nanofiber internal structures. No cloak, so we've got to be careful with that. Micro warp drive. So this is almost the most basic... 
alpha character. It's still, I love it. I love scanning ships, and you can do it right off the bat. But So that should be able to get me home now. I've got some Citrus core scanning probes in there, um, and then the backup core scanners that are there as well. So why am I going to be going wormhole out instead of just flying straight out? Well, let's pull up uh, stain here. Stain, 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 stain. Dot land maps. There we go. And I'll give you an idea why. Number one, I don't have a cloak on the ship. Um, not just no uh, covert ops cloak, but any cloak whatsoever. Um, number two, this is how I lived out here for a while. I, uh, I've, I, it really challenged me to learn a lot of basic things in how to make safe spots, how to use my directional scanner a lot better, how to dodge guys who were trying to kill me, how to read the maps. So um, I learned a lot from having less. Um, the uh, long story short, let's see here. I am in stain. The other thing I want to show you is the map of Stain and what I learned living out here. Now, I'm currently in KP Tech here. Notice there are no clone bays here, so I can't jump in and out. I could, if I wanted to just leave, um, I could change my home station to uh, my original, um, I, I think I can change it to my original station that I started out in. Um, but then I wouldn't be able to warp back or clone, uh, come back in. And, you know me, I like going through wormholes. So um, the second reason being that there is one main track to get out of Stain to get to high sec and low sec. And that is right here through Seminar. To do that, I'm in KP, I have to fly up through here over and around. And in these areas... There are a lot of spots that um, a lot of people like to uh, set up gate camps. Um, and you don't know if that gate camp's there um, unless you're a little bit lucky if you're looking at the maps or if you just fly through them. And me personally, I just like to find a wormhole and roll through it if I can. So, and that was the way 10 years ago when I used to play, I used to live out in... I think it was a Wassa. I think the alliance I was with was uh, Reading Space out there. Um, and we got in and out of a Wassa just by going through wormholes. So um, now I did fly out here originally um, with an exploring ship, found a spot that I wanted to live in. Now I have no idea what this area is like down here. Um, now I haven't honestly been here for quite a while. Um, I do remember down in this area was kind of held by an alliance, um, and they were pretty strict about holding on. I got chased out of here once or twice, never went back. There's some other spots out here in Stain. Stain is a very tough, but if you can live in Stain on your own, you're doing well. So let's go ahead and uh, get out there and see what's going on. Luckily, I've got nobody in the system. Um, no idea. I'm probably going to miss a few things with what I used to do. It's been a while since I've done this. Um, I should have a decent number of save spots saved here. Good, good, good. Okay, I got no... Um, no cosmic signatures there. So, first thing I'm going to do is try to warp to a save spot. Just so I'm a little bit safer. There we go. Put the, my... Uh, my um, UI is also a lot different from my normal one. <laughs> um, it's going to take a little bit get, getting used to. Okay. So we're doing that. Now what's the next thing I want to do? Oh, I remember. I can go to the, the agency and look up cosmic signatures. This is the way I used to do it while I was out here. Um, if I go to the agency, click on expiration, go to cosmic signatures... It will then tell me um, how, signatures that are close to me. So um, so I'm not just randomly going from one system to the next system. So it looks like UK5, UKYS5, TAC5 has two signatures. We can go and set our destination there. Our LDS is two jumps away. There, so um, UK5, where are you at? 
Let's look at the big board again. UK5. Oh, it's right there. And then RLDS. So might as well just try this one and this one. There, That's four uh, wormholes between the two of them. Hopefully we don't die on our way there. That would get me out of here real quick. <laughs> Actually, it wouldn't. It would send me back to my home station, which is where I'm at right now. And this is going to be kind of interesting because uh, if you watch the last video or so, I really worked today a lot on reorganizing stuff um, back in my main stations. I po probably uh, emptied out f five to ten different stations and combined them to a couple of them. I still have some work to do there. Um, but I'd also like to do that with Amanda Rose and then kind of set them apart, um, the two char the two characters apart in Aridia and um, over in uh, the Great Wildlands and uh, Curse. Not saying I, I'll probably keep playing mostly with William Pilgrim, but you never know. I'm, I'm, it's been a while since I played with Amanda Rose and maybe she can do a few more things to than him. Maybe I'll send her right back here to Stain. I don't know, but I do want to get her back in and see what she can do to help out. Okay. So we still got nobody in system here and two signatures. Love the fact that I saved all these safe spots, so that's kind of cool. Go ahead and launch our probes and pull that up. Keep an eye on local because I have to be a little bit more careful. I'm used to having the cloak. It's funny, you go uh, six months to a year without having a cloak, and now I jump straight from no cloak to covert ops cloak, if you can believe it. Um, cool, cool, cool. Well, I'm so used to my uh, scanner being here. There we go. I also don't have all of the special things that my covert ops ship has. So I'm going to be really careful. I'm not going to be able to scan these as quickly as I normally do. Some of the tricks that I can use. Okay, so that's a combat site. So we're going to focus on that one. Any wormhole I find, I'm just going to jump into, even if it is a dangerous un unknown. Um, because I really don't have a need to... Uh, get back here right away. Oop, I probably should have just left that at 8 and rescanned. That was dumb. Talking too much. Alright, let's do this again. Alright, now I should be a little better. We're going to analyze that at 4 AU. Come on, wormhole. All right, so. Little trick I always like to point it out. Um, whenever you get these two dots, it's one of the things that used to frustrate me. Always go to the one that is farthest away. The one, what this means is one of these two, well, the signature only got hit by two bubbles that you had. So that means it has to be on the outer edges. So um, you definitely want to go to the one that looks farthest away. That's touching the least number of bubbles from a visual standpoint. And rescan it. Same level that you did before. Um, because it's still going to be off. You get these a lot more with your lower skill levels. Um, I haven't gotten them as much recently since uh, William Pilgrim's skills got a lot better. Hey, wormhole. Nice. Hey, let's see if I get super lucky. Wouldn't it be awesome if this just went straight to high sec or low sec? There we go. Center that. Just make sure my microphone's working. Yep, good. Boy, this is a it's a little bit of a slog once you've been scanning a lot better. It's kind of like uh, if you're a miner mining in a venture after you've been mining with a, 
uh, mining barge. Um, I'm still going. To, I mean, I even remember that, and I haven't done it in eight, ten years. I need to some point. I I do have my original accounts. Someday I need to um, boot them up. Now why? Boy, this is just ticking all along, along real slow. Oh, is that all the way through? Get it? That 100%? Yeah. Now, normally... Work within 100. There we go. Let's go ahead and minimize that. And I don't really care where this goes to. I am going to jump into it anyway. Unless it goes out to regular null. <laughs> I didn't want to go to 100. I got a micro warp drive on me. Uh, inner wormhole. So I'm breaking every rule on the planet right now. I should be bouncing back off of something and bouncing to this. Because if somebody comes through the wormhole right now, they could see me and blow me up. But you know... Why? Why bother? It's an imicus. Well, I should at least look to see where it goes, huh? Show info before I jump through it. Dangerous unknown parts of space. Uh, wormholes begin to decay. Larger ships can go through. So I am not guaranteed to get a low sec wormhole through this. That'll be interesting. Um, low sec or not. But we're going to find out. Okay. Ah, uh, you know what? I am going to filter this. There we go. Wow, there's only three cosmic signatures here. That's crazy. Save location. Submitted. Okay. Planet. Let's warp to a random planet. Reload. Control B. Safe one. And we are submitting. Seen me doing it a thousand times. All I'm doing is I save the wormhole so I can get back through it if nothing's here. Um, then I'll warp back to the save spot. This is one major thing I learned playing as an alpha for so long. Was how to be a little bit safer. Doesn't mean I can't be scanned down. But it will take somebody a lot longer to scan me down. Um, if I am in a safe spot in the middle of nowhere, not at a celestial. So what I did was I warped to a celestial, dropped the safe spot while I was flying there, then I'm warping back to that safe spot. You can do even more than that. You can actually warp to one, warp to another, and then triangulate. Um, I don't bother with that. But it is safer. Good. Maybe when I get more expensive ships, I'll, I'll do that more often. Let's see what we got here. So... What I will do is try to scan down these sites. Now, what I'm looking at here is this one here is probably the safe spot that I just did. We're going to find out. Here we go. I'm going to put this over this one here. I'm so used to, i got to move this over here. I'm so used to having my probe scanner down here, my directional scanner. Yeah, let's do that. My, If you've watched me play William Pilgrim, I'm the exact opposite. That's kind of funny. Okay. Cosmic signature. Good, good, good. Please be another wormhole. If it is another wormhole, I will probably just jump straight through it. Um, only for, no matter where it goes. Oh, looks like there's a, uh, there's a Fortizar in here. Wow. That is another wormhole, and it is not the one I warped in at. Maybe I get a little bit lucky here. 
Uh, the other thing you notice, I'm kind of glad I did this. I wasn't planning on it. Uh, when I landed on my save spot, I pointed myself in a direction and hit the micro warp drive. That got me moving at almost 3,000 kilometers or meters per second. Um, why is that important? When you don't have a cloak, you can be scanned down with directional scanning. Or, I'm sorry, with combat probes. Now, I don't see any combat probes out here. I haven't been hitting the directional scanner as much as I should be. Um, but I have actually saved myself multiple, multiple times where somebody was scanning me down and the fact that I was in motion, even though they scan, takes you a while to scan down, then you have to warp to me, to that spot that I was scanned down at. If that happens, while you're warping to me, I'm in motion in another direction. And by each second, I'm 3,000 meters farther away. So if it is a slower ship, by the time you land, I'm probably going to be out of range and I can at least see you on the overview. Um, the other thing being, if you're cloaked up, you can't sneak up on me most likely um, by maybe only 3,000 3, up there. So, okay. So, let's go check this one out. I'm going to warp to it at 100. While we're warping there, we might as well try to scan this other one down here. If it is another wormhole, it's kind of crazy that there's only three cosmic signatures here. One other nice thing that I've, I actually realized was with the uh, the filters. If you're just trying to find a wormhole or just fi trying to find anomalies, get rid of our, our cosmic signatures. Use the filter to clear that up. I used to fight with that all the time. All right, show info. It goes to another set of dangerous um, space. So I am going to warp back to 100 at my save spot. And this one did not come up with anything. OK, so analyze. If this doesn't have anything, I'll have to go through that wormhole that I just found. And to be honest with you, I won't bore you guys with um, with me just trying to get out of stain. Um, just trying to show you what I'm up to. But we'll see what this one is here. <sighs> keep forgetting to do that always center first then move your probes I'm dumb be a wormhole be a wormhole. Nope, it's gas site. All right. So that is pretty much that. I am going to go through that wormhole that I found um, and keep working my way home or dying on the way there. But I'm not going to hold you guys up. And look at me. I did that whole speech about being in motion while you're at your safe spot. And then I wasn't in motion the second time. Fantastic. So, I um, hope you guys had a great holiday. Looking forward to talking to you soon. Um, I'm going to keep working my way home. This is kind of fun for me. So, fly safe, fly dangerously, fly out of that good one, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great one. Bye-bye.